My name is Miranda Whitesides. I am a performance support specialist for uh, the Department of Interior. A couple of years ago, I noticed that there was a lump in my breast, which I was only about probably 24 when I noticed it. I go in for checkups fairly regularly, so I talked to my doctor. He, he didn't think it was anything to worry about, really. He mentioned it might have been something like a, a fibroadenoma, basically a, a benign tissue of some sort. Over the course of this, I, I was starting a new job, I wish my current one. Um, I was getting my graduate degree, I was also planning my wedding, so there was a lot of stressful stuff going on. I don't want to say I let my health go by the wayside, but the lump was not anything to be concerned about at the time. And I had no other symptoms, so again, I didn't really worry about it too much. Uh, once I finally got married, got my graduate degree and everything, um, that's when I kind of realized, oh, it got quite a bit bigger. And I brought it back to my doctor's attention again, and he still said, I don't feel anything to be concerned about, which I found to be a little shocking considering it uh, arguably quadrupled in size. So I finally decided to take charge and go to see a gynecologist. And when I did, she felt the lump, if you even want to call it that, it was more like a, a mass of some sort. <laughs> She said, wow, that's pretty big. And she asked me about my other symptoms, which again, I really didn't have any, surprisingly. And she said, well, you know, it, it's probably nothing bad, but we should go get an image. And I went ahead and got an ultrasound and that's when they noticed my lymph nodes were swollen. So they decided to do a mammogram and it looked pretty, pretty nasty to say the least. Uh, they noticed some calcification, which is essentially dead cancer cells. So they wanted me to go ahead and get a biopsy and well, that's when they determined that it was indeed cancer. It was, it, it was scary. I mean, you never think you're gonna be diagnosed with cancer. It was certainly, you know, it, it, the, it was the worst before I knew how bad it was, before I knew the prognosis. It was certainly one of those things where, you know, the, the nurses, the doctors really couldn't tell me much until all of these tests were done. Luckily, it hadn't spread beyond my lymph nodes. So it was ultimately stage three. Uh, they decided because the lump was so big, it was about seven centimeters, which is roughly that, it was pretty deep. So they wanted to do chemotherapy first to try to shrink it before they gave me surgery. So they put me on chemotherapy for uh, about six rounds or so. And luckily it worked very well. Uh, it pretty much shrunk the tumor to almost nothing, which considering how big it was, was very impressive. I, I still needed surgery because it couldn't get rid of everything. There's stuff inside the duct that the chemo literally can't reach. Um, but they said it was the best that it could have done, which is great. They got rid of the rest of the cancer during my lumpectomy. Um, so the radiation was a, an after fact to, again, just to make sure that recurrence wouldn't happen. Of course, I thought about dying and still do sometimes. I mean, who knows, it, it could come back. You can't let that cripple you. You gotta keep fighting and really see what your life is all about. It, it puts things into perspective. I still got through it. I still was able to come out on the other side and it just helps me to remember if you really put your mind to it, you can get through anything. If you ever have to go through something like this, this is your battle. Other people were telling me, oh, I knew somebody who had to go through chemo, or this person had to go through chemo and they ended up getting MS. This person did this, this person, and it's like, that stuff can intimidate you. But ultimately, it's your battle. It's your story, it's your situation. You make it but what you can and embrace the fact that it's you. It's nobody else. Don't let those other stories intimidate you or scare you. Again, if you put your mind to it, you can get through anything.